Audio log 16. Hi. If you don't know me already, my name is Jeremy Rich. I am the son of Officer Rich. Back in the 80s, my dad had this missing persons case at this restaurant called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Things sort of spiraled out of control. And so, the supposed murderer went missing, and he never finished his case. But now, I want to finish his case. I want to finally bring to justice who killed those kids. And I think I finally found enough evidence to do it. This is for you, Dad. End tape. Okay, if that's a secret friend of Henry's, oh my goodness. All right, secret friend of Henry, let's see who you are. Listen, buddy, I just like to say that you're not allowed. Oh. Oh, hello, officer. Uh, what do you need? Hello there. My name is Jeremy Rich. I'm currently running an investigation and was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Oh, uh, sure. Come on in. Huh? Who's Papa talking to? Huh? Now, I know this might be a sensitive topic, but I need it for my case. Sensitive topic? I wanted to ask about the murders that happened back in the 80s. <laughs> no, yeah. Sure. You sure you're okay with this? Yep. Perfectly fine. Alright, well, starting off... If you know, who did it? It was William Afton. That, that's who my dad's main suspect was. Are you sure? All right, this is making things really interesting. A while ago, he unexpectedly disappeared. Do you know what happened to him? Yes, I do. Wait, really? What? He experienced a spring lock failure. Spring lock failure? Never heard of it. Uh, it, it's a lot to explain, but he's dead. Oh. He died to the spring lock failure, and we haven't seen him since. Wait, 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 you said you haven't seen him since. What do you mean? Well, once he died, the next morning he was gone. Um, uh, what was your name? Uh, just call me Puppet. Puppet? <laughs> Don't you think that would mean he's still alive? You think he's still alive? Well, it's a possibility. Look, look, look. I could be wrong. It's been 40 years. There's no way he could have lived that long. Yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> there's no there's no way he could feel alive. Yeah, right. Right. Wait a second, are, are you Henry Emily? Uh, yes. Charlotte, who is this? Oh, um, he's a police officer. He's just asking me some questions. Um, uh, Mr. Emily, if you don't mind, could I ask you some questions too? No, no thanks. I'm, I'm good. Why not? What? Why can't you answer some questions, Dad? You don't seem to be doing anything right now. Fine. Jeez. Uh, th thank you for agreeing to do this. Yeah, whatever. So, I just want to ask some questions about William Afton. So what was your relationship with Afton? Were you co-owners? Friends? I... I would say friends. Hmm, okay, okay. Why do you think Afton did what he did? Well, geez, uh, there's a lot of factors that could have gone into it. Um, oh, okay. Do you think he's still around today? Okay, yeah, um, <laughs> I, I, I'm done with this Q&A.
Wait, the what? The dad? No, it's all right, puppet. I, I got all the info I needed. I'll be on my way out. Uh, have a nice night. Henry, what took you so long? Look, I'm sorry, William. There was this police officer trying to ask me questions. What? Look, he's gone now. I think it's okay. It better be. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, no. William Afton. How did he get in here? But I, I don't know. Mr. William Afton, you are under arrest. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court. I would suggest getting back, Henry. I too would suggest you stay back. Come on, Mr. Afton. Officer Ridge, what is your status? Over. I've taken William Afton in my custody. I'm gonna ask him some questions, see what I can find out. Roger that. Over. So often, why did you do it? I said, why did you do it? I'm not answering that question. Hmm, fine. I'll start it with more simpler questions. What was your relationship with your family? Well, that's just a stupid question. Of course I loved them. Hmm, judging by some reports I got, you seemed a bit neglectful of them. For the last time! I did not neglect them! For the last time, eh? So, you're saying that people have told you this before? Alright, next question. Why were you in this animatronic bunny suit? Well, I experienced the spring lock failure. Tell me what that is exactly. You see, I designed these things called spring locks that hold back all of the mechanisms of the animatronics, allowing me to freely walk around in it. But they were weak. So one night, the spring locks failed on me. Hmm, but you're still able to get out of the suit, so why did you stay in it? I feel safe in the suit. In my regular decaying human body, I feel, I feel weak. But in this suit, I feel like I could do anything. I feel like nobody can hurt me. Oh, disturbing. Well, it seems I eased you up a bit. So, why'd you do it? I'm not answering. Hmm, all right. Do you think the loss of your son Evan had something to do with it? Keep Evan's name out of this conversation. So it did. No! Then what, what was it? Did Evan's death just play a factor? Listen, buddy, I'm not letting you go until you answer these questions. I guess... Evan's death played... a factor into it. You see, everyone thinks I neglected my family. But I was just so... busy. I owned a business. I was always thinking and planning. I didn't have time for a stupid family. But after Evan died, I was down in the dumps. So I went to a bar and got drunk. But then, whenever I saw Henry's daughter outside of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, I just had so much rage built up from Evan. 
and so much rage built up from the rebrand. So I took it out on her, and it felt good to finally let out my anger. So I continued to do it, to relieve myself, and I still wasn't satisfied, especially after I got springlocked. <sighs> do you want to know why I was in the animatronics basement, Mr. Rich? So that I can exterminate every last animatronic made by Fazbear Entertainment. What? Only then will I be satisfied. You're insane. Oh, trust me. I figured that out a long, long time ago. I'm getting some of the police to come over here. You're not getting out of here. Funny you should say that. Get out of that suit! Soon, this will all be just a bad dream. Good night, Mr. Rich. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky You know how I feel Jeremy Rich, Jeremy Rich right there, over Yeah, I'm here you know So, uh, what happened with that William Afton guy? Oh, it turns out I got the wrong William Afton He... It's a new day. He's actually innocent it's a new Oh, okay Um... What do you want to do next? I actually want to shut down the case. Oh, really? You sure? I know this was a really personal case for you. Yeah, I'm... I'm sure. Well, all right. I'm feeling good. Fish in the sea. You know how I feel. River running free, you know how I feel. Blossom on a tree.